Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a try on haul. So I got a bunch of new makeup that I wanted to try. I went outside my comfort zone and purchased some of these items at Pink Friday. Um, and I just wanted to give it a go. So that's what I have on my face right now. A lot of the products were a fail, by the way. Not a lot, but they didn't like flutter my heart, you know, so um, that and then we have a bunch of skincare and hair restocks that I did recently that I'm going to quickly take you through at the end of the video. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Okay, but first lip balm, I'm taking the Inde Wild Dewy Lip Treatment. They're all sold out right now in India. If you got yours, you know what I'm talking about. It's so glossy and juicy. Right, so first we're gonna hydrate the face because I'm super dry right now. So I called for the Verse Skin Soak Rich Moisture Cream. I firstly saw this packaging and I'm like, this is my beige color, pinky beige. And it has squalane, red algae extract. So I saw squalane and I'm like, I need to get this. So let's try this on, I'm very excited. This was for 1690 i might have gotten it at a discount during pink friday i have lost count of all the prices so i'll leave links to everything below if they're nice then you can get it so this is the first cream i'm always on the hunt for new moisturizer in skincare moisturizer is like my favorite category just like in beauty lipstick is my favorite okay so this looks very rich in doesn't have a fragrance so good good i think skincare products should be without fragrance so i'm gonna take a little bit okay i mean it's like a regular moisturizer i don't know why it's 16.90 for this i think it's just the branding worst i've not heard of them i'll be honest okay now you can see all right so you can see the moisturizer on my face it's sitting beautifully but again there's not i'm not like wowed by it it's a great moisturizer i think i'll finish the tub because i like the way it's sitting on my skin but that's it <laughs> i think you can get moisturizers like this for way cheaper i'll be honest i'm gonna take the smashbox photo finish primer really quickly this one i have tons of so i haven't bought it really mattifies that area did you see that it just cut off the shine it's a really great product so my next product is this one this is the elf halo glow liquid filter you know i love my hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury it's my number one i love using this it's just like a radiant glow on the skin and so i thought why not buy the dupe and this has been a viral product it's like this is the dupe for the charlotte tilbury and this is for 1750 it's still expensive but not as expensive as the hollywood flawless i'm guessing and this is in the shade 3 light medium okay i'm trying this for the first time that's a huge one look at that hi hopes okay i'm just gonna blend this out with my finger i don't think this is my shade but this is all they had and i wanted to get it so i got it i'm like forget it i would i would have been shade two or three but it's pretty but it's not as pretty as my hollywood flawless filter i'm gonna do charlotte tilbury on this side and show you it looks the same but this has more luminosity i don't know how it's a more like wet feeling come on this is a great dupe i mean i'm still for the charlotte tilbury i think it has more wet wetness to it and it looks more glowy as compared to this side personally i still will go for the charlotte tilbury but not a bad dupe at all like i have a new brush that i got from where did i get this from amazon i saw this and i was like i need to get this one this is the mars four in one travel brush and it is one man army that's what it says here so this is a travel brush it's got an eye brush inside and this and apparently this is all you need be your own team mars four in one travel brush is a multifunctional brush which has foundation powder brush eyeshadow blending brush and a flat brush all in one that's great so it's got this and then it's got an eye brush on the inside i don't know how to do this wait that's the eye brush and then probably it's going to be a great travel brush, not like your everyday brush. I still would use my regular brushes, but what the hell? I think this is such a cool concept in general, just to make a compact anything these days is something which we will love. Okay, they said this is a foundation brush, so I definitely want to try this as a foundation brush. I also have a new Zara brush I wanted to try, the Zara foundation brush. It looks so chic and classy. It's like a kabuki. 
for foundation, I'm going to use um, the good old House of Makeup Luminous Skin Tint with Hyaluronic Acid. I don't have a new foundation, so I thought this one would be great. Uh, this is in the shade FL10. Coffee. And then going with the brush. All right. <laughs> I'm not mad at this tint. I like this tint in general. I think it's a great tint. But I'm not mad at this brush. Hold on. I think it could have been a little more compact because it's too like spread out for foundation. I think a blush application, a powder application would be great with this. That's great. I'm not mad at this at all. Okay, and now we're going to do the Zara brush. Okay, I like it. Uh, again, I... <laughs> I feel like this is a bit too hard. You know what I really like to use? I think I should do a brush video really soon. I think this is kind of too stiff. This is kind of too loose. I think this is like the perfect foundation brush. This is the Pro Art AK42. This one is another one I like. It's nameless. Yeah, I wish I had the name of this, but this is another one that I really like, which is stiff and also bendy. It's like right in the middle. So both of these are like much better foundation brushes because you can maneuver the foundation. But yes, not bad. I will I will use this. It gives more compact finish. Love the handle. It feels so luxe. By the way, great tint. Great tint. Check it out. Okay, then I got the Milani concealer. Now I'm not sure if I've tried the Milani concealer, but I wanted to give it a shot. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is in the shade 140 Pure Beige. I totally winged the shade. I have no idea if this is my shade or not. And how expensive was this? One five nine nine. It's a pretty expensive uh, makeup haul, but I think I got all of this in the Pink Friday sale, so I got it at a discount. I don't like it when brands put the stickers in front of the name. I just don't know how to. It's so. Look at this. It's so messy. It's Jake's birthday tomorrow. My younger brother's turning twenty five. Twenty five. That makes me really feel old. Is he turning twenty five or twenty four? Great. Great, great, great. But it's so crazy because dude, he's my like little brother and he's taller than me and you guys know Jake. Finally, look, this is how a product should look. And that's, that's whack, right? I'm just like, I can't believe it. And then it's also Christmas. End of the year. Okay, this is my Rufa Beauty RB17 brush. The names rub off on this, which is, I wish it didn't. Now, I kept the concealer on for a bit. Let's blend it out and see if this is my shade. Slightly a little pinker on me, but it's okay. I can make this work. You guys, it's a very nice full coverage concealer. It's slightly expensive, but it's nice. It's like worth the buy. I'll tell you that. I think the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation is also so good. I remember using it and loving it a lot. So, Milani is great in general. Okay, this is great. So, we're going to set this really quickly. I'm using my Prism Libre by Givenchy. This is in rose. The only powder I'll use for a very long time. Until another powder can come and destroy this powder, this powder is great. I bought this other thing that I wanted to show you before I set my face. It's this sponge from Amazon. I just type like powder puff and random sponges come and I pick this one up. I got one in a white as well. Here, this came in a pair. So I think these are great to just have on handy because these this is like the best way to set your face and under eye like this traditional powder puff uh, that used to be round remember now it comes in triangle which is so much more convenient. Okay so I'm going to show you a better way to set your face if you're someone who is much more older than uh, usual you know who's early on in their late 20s and 30s and if your concealer is just not setting because I realized that when I stepped out recently my concealer creases the baking method on wet concealer was not working for me my overhead light was not on great i realized with age your makeup techniques will change and you have to keep practicing and seeing what is working and what's not working so over time my foundation and concealer techniques changed so much with age because i started to wrinkle around here wrinkle as in you know what i mean like and on your smile lines as well and you just have to work according your face so you're gonna pick up your loose powder so earlier i used to do that and let it bake but i'm not gonna do that on wet concealer so what i'm gonna do that is just set my concealer like this okay i promise you this technique works at least it does for me my concealer does not crease anymore because i was practicing i was so bothered by my concealer cracking up and creasing and especially on red carpets and i was like so embarrassed i was like i have to fix this i'm like a beauty influence i'm supposed to know how to set my face but i forget that i'm human <laughs> and mistakes happen and i also have to keep learning 
as and when I go, you know, I love learning new techniques. So I practiced and I nailed it. And now I do this on red carpets and everywhere all the time. So this is how you set your face. Okay, finish, done. But set it with a loose powder. I don't recommend compact powders for setting under eyes. That's not something I like to do. Now, once my concealer is dry and we've set it, you want to go back in with your loose powder and then you want to bake. So basically, instead of baking on wet concealer, you will bake on a dried set concealer. And now I'm going to leave this for a few minutes. Magical. Dust it off later and you have creaseless under eyes for hours. Okay, so these puffs are great. Keep them handy. They're really going to come in use and I cannot do without them. Puffs as well from Amazon and they're so cute. They're tiny finger puffs and uh, this is used to settle to put foundation it's got like a beauty sponge finish on it it does not have a have a powder puff finish this is the kind of finish it has what i do is i carry this with me in my clutch or purse you know those little mini bags are now in fashion i carry like smaller clutches and then i don't like to carry my big compact powders they've always taken up space and so i got this little tiny sponge just to set and dab in case i get oily anywhere and then i got this super cute compact powder from nika this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish complexion perfecting micro powder and i have the bigger size i love the compact powder it's so good and then i saw a mini one how cute is this i'm like i'm getting this very expensive it's 2500 rupees charlotte tilbury is like off the charts that way but look at this are you kidding me like this is perfect for carry on travel airports like i don't want to carry that big ass compact and it's got a mirror it's just the perfect thing so what i do is do pat 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 and then i'll just set wherever i think i need to set you know just to take off the shiny little and this is so cute i think this is perfect to put into your little purse or your pocket um or your gowns in case you know you're you're going for weddings and stuff and you don't want to carry but you do want to touch up i think this is great okay moving on to brows i don't have anything new so i'm gonna quickly do my brows this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil and we have the 24 hour brow setter so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna be right back i missed my bobby brown eye cream i can tell it's so dry my under eye is so dry right now i know when i skip a step i know something is off and yeah it's fine all right let's move on to the next product i got what did i get what did i get i got these fantastic eyeshadow palettes i just got two eyeshadow palettes because i have honestly big ones these mini like shadows which i think are great now this is the i think this is the revlon so fierce palette i love the shimmers in this i think they're so nice this is in 962 fully loaded and then i have this one this is the i'm everything revolution pro shadow palette okay this is so nice look at the color story <laughs> my favorite color story we've got three mattes and two shimmers let's see i'm going back in with the revlon palette i just want to do a little whoa revlon are you kidding this is great you guys Okay, let's watch these. I'm gonna take the brown. What lovely. Also so pretty. I also have a few eyeliners that I really wanted to try. I have this Pure White by Rimmel London. This is the Soft Coal Kajal Liner Pencil in Pure White. Okay, it's not the best swatch, but that's a white. I got this from Swiss Beauty. They're the Color Me Happy Eyeliner. Long wear, smudge proof and waterproof. And I got three colors which I thought were just delicious. I got peach, purple and mint. What colors are these? These are so fun. It's very inspiring actually. And by the way, the packaging on this is fantastic. It is so plush feeling. You guys, those are very, very good swatches. Are you kidding? It's time to try these mini brushes. Whoa, there's a lot of kickback. It's very powdery that is good but it's great for traveling i mean i'm not going to use this every day but it's good okay, i'm going to switch out guys I'm, I'm i'm a little awkward with short bristles yes let's go <laughs> it's okay i like these gimmicky products i think they're great they're experimental i'm picking up that brown shade with my rufa beauty rb07 brush and i'm gonna put that on the outer corner okay this shadow is quite buttery i think it's really rich and buttery it does have a lot of kickback that means there's too much powder coming out when i'm using it that's never bothered me so i'm good now for my lids i'm gonna pick up this one yeah i'm gonna take the revlon palette and i'm picking up this rose gold shade and i'm just taking that with my finger i love how this feels it's so nice i hope it translates exactly it's a little dry you know it looks very buttery 
when I swatch it, but when I apply it, it's very dry and not the best application. So see, good. Good, I tried it out. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Wet your brush and then go in with the shimmer to activate it a little bit. But well, that's what we'll do. Let's wet the brush with a regular setting spray. Much better with a setting spray. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes that's necessary, see? Now the pigment is so much more evident. But will I do that all the time? No, I think there are eyeshadow palettes that are of that price. And you get good shimmers. So there you have it. I'm not the most happy with this, I'll be very honest. I think there are better shimmers out there. Wah, wah. I was really excited with the hand swatches, but it really, really translates when you put it on your eye. Okay, so how do I make this yummy and delicious? Let's go in with this shadow. Let's take this really nice copper shadow and I'm going to fully like destroy this eyeshadow by putting this on top. What? The shimmers have disappointed me so much. This is so sad. I'm so sad. I really thought it would be fantastic, but it's really dull, you guys. This is for $5.95, so it's okay. My heart's not burning a lot. And this one is for $1699. Heart burns there because I'm never going to be able to use even the mattes because they don't have mattes. They have just shimmers, which is a full bummer. This whole palette goes to waste if it doesn't work out well, right? Maybe I'll try this beautiful liner. This is the Swiss Beauty Color Me Liner. This is in the shade Wine Dahlia. Can I remove this eyeshadow? It's bumming me out and how? All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna play with liners now. That's what I've decided because I'm very pumped to play with these liners. Better, much better. Gorge. It's great. I think it could be more pigmented, but they're not that expensive, so it's great. I can't really blend it very easily here. It's sort of getting tugging and pulling. Can you see that? So it's not very like creamy, you know? I did a little bit of white on top and now I'm just gonna go at, in the bottom waterline. Can you? Is it popping? I think it's slightly popping. I'm just gonna go in two, three times with it so it's like even more stark. And now we're gonna move on. The eye part was such a fail. <laughs> it's such a bummer. For mascara, I don't have anything new, but I do love the Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I think it's one of the best mascaras they've come out with. So I'm gonna do that. This mascara is excellent oh my lord that is amazing okay so for bronzer i don't have anything new so i'm gonna take the makeup revolution bronzer itself it's such a big pan and it's nice i like this one do you guys want to see abigail's stuff that we use shopping i'm not showing a lot of baby stuff because i don't know i think people get bored of my channel because you guys are still very young a lot of you have not had babies who are following me and y'all are like amals we know you're a mom but we want the makeup and i'm just like oh Okay, I'm getting back makeup like you know I never really left it's just that I think we have to realize like everyone reaches a new phase in their life and uh, we can't stay the same you know there's new members in our life and we have to show that aspect of our life as well but I get it if you want makeup totally down for makeup me too I love showing makeup but if you once in a while want the baby content I am happy to do that for my mamas out there I will do it for you guys let me know down below now 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 blush you guys see I have to blushes right here that i call for one is the makeup revolution balm glow multi-use glow for the face luminous finish this is the balm oh look at these that's so cute it's a tin wow Ooh, it has a grandmom smell and then we have this elf blush these are the putty blushes which are my favorite this is in the shade tahiti one one cheek please because they're two very they're different tones and huh? this is like rosy pink this is peach go, let's go let's go let's go first i'm gonna go in with makeup revolution i'm so intrigued by this balm it's reminding me of the chanel bronzer chanel soleil yo are you freaking kidding me that is beautiful however <laughs> you need to use this on bare face like if you're someone who doesn't use powder at all, this is... By the way, where's the pigment? There's like zero pigment. That's like... That's not even... Pig, that's like barely a pigment or tint. And it's lifted off my brown, brown bronzer. It's lifted off my bronzer because it's so balmy. And very, very balmy. It's like I put Vaseline on my face right now. I am not... I love this shine. And I'm going to put this on bare skin. But yo... <laughs> 
<laughs> not on powdered skin no 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 this is not gonna work for this video i have to great fantastic thank you so much but i guess i'm just gonna set it down with powder see there you go it's settled in do not use this on top of powder or a full face of makeup bare skin i'm gonna go in with elf i'm gonna have to pick up another brush Okay, I'm gonna take the Rufa Beauty RB18. This is gonna be good. This is, this is great. I know this brush. Pretty, 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 pretty. Such a pretty color, you guys. Tahiti. I really think these putty blushes are so worth it. It's so worth it. It's so pretty. Tons of lipsticks that I want to show you. Oh, first we have this one. This is the Swiss Beauty Baked Blusher and Highlighter. This is not a blush, okay? I don't know why they call this a blush, but this is a highlighter. I'm going to just give this a shot. I never understand this. I'm never going to use all colors. You know what I mean? Like, why would I go in with every color? I'm just going to go in with like the gold and the white. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? It's so powdery. <laughs> and it's left like a yellow patch of gold here. Can you see? It's like so yellow. And this is like so white. This is so pink. And this is so brown. I'm like, none of this is my shade. It's like, I need a champagne right in the middle of these three. Also fail. We've had a lot of fails today. I usually have a lot of hits, but I really wanted to go all out and shop for products that I wouldn't typically shop for. Oh my lord. This is, I'm just gonna settle down well that's a fail that's something that i'm not going to use ever i think these sort of products are an absolute miss and we're going to move on to lips now i have a bunch of lip liners that i really wanted to try i have one more liner by rimmel london it's in the shade sable brown this beautiful chocolatey brown color can i do i do i need more liner should i go over this liner i just did i just did oh my gosh that is so stunning i went over the purple liner fully because i wanted to try this this is a kajal but I just went on top of the purple because I really think I cannot see much of the purple. My eye is looking blank so I'm just going over and but it is a kajal, remember that. Now I have a brown liner which is so stunner. I love this color. I love this brown. It's the most cool toned brown I've seen and I've been wanting so something like this for my waterline. I literally am just having fun right now. I'm not even like, um, now I'm going to use these. There are, there's so much sticker on this that I don't even know what I've called for. I'm so sorry. I apologize. These are for 375 rupees. And this is the brand Makeup Revolution. And these are lip liners. So the first one is the shade Espresso. I wanted some really nice brown nude uh, lip liners. I really think lip liners very essential eh, if you're a lipstick girl. And in general, if you just want to want fuller lips and to define your lips well but inside it's so baby pink it's gonna be very pale on me it's deceiving man how is this brown that is straight up bobby pink and it says lip definer in espresso nude that is not how espresso looks this is a strawberry milkshake this is the ultimate intense stay auto liner in keep it spicy that can be an espresso shade makeup revolution Mmm, yes, absolutely. All right. Um, that broke. <laughs> too soft, too soft. But this is a banger color. Like, this is what I mean by nude, by brown nude lip liners. This is the color I'm looking for. Now I have this one. This is by Lacme. This is their perfect definition lip liner in 07 Spice Note. Do you know where I'm going? Keep it spicy, Spice Note, Espresso Nude. Those are the kind of colors I want. I'm gonna do it here. Yes, Lacme. Yes. I'm gonna give it to you. This is slightly pinker. This is a pinky nude, but it's great. And keep it spicy is sort of my nude that I'm looking for, the left side. Not bad at all. Both are great. I'm so surprised. Lacme has nailed the nude color. Now, I think I have one more lip liner. This is the Understatement Lip Liner by Milani. This is in the shade Saucy Toffee 170. Mmm. There you go. Now we're talking. Again, it broke. What is happening? What is happening? These retractable pencils are like that. They just fall off. Now that is Milani's understatement lip liner in Saucy Toffee. Yes, 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 yes. 
ब्यूटीफुल मिलानी फाइनली टेल मी इट्स फॉर लाइक सिक्स एट नाइन थाउजेंड बक्स ओके इट्स वन वन नाइन फाइव इट इज स्टिल एक्सपेंसिव फॉर अ लिप लाइनर आई हैव द एसेंस लिपस्टिक इन नाउ ऑन नेवर दिस इज इन द शेड लॉन्ग लास्टिंग दिस इज सो प्रिडी is so rich and creamy oh my gosh oh my gosh that is really really luxurious feeling it feels so balmy and so nice essence i don't like creamy bullet lipsticks a lot but this is beautiful that is so stunning it's a it's a mood you need this color i have another lipstick i wanted to try this is the maybelline new york uh, 699 in more buff delicious this is so good it's such a comfortable soft matte finish oh my gosh that is great maybelline i love this shade as well it's your pale pale pink i'm going to go back in with the milani lip liner and sort of contour a little bit all right guys so this is the makeup portion of the video i i didn't love a lot of the products which is surprising but i really wanted to go outside my comfort zone and shop for products that i would never shop for <laughs> and see how they work clearly not my jam i'm going to quickly review what i loved i love the concealer love the lip products great elf blush the white and the brown by rimmel london has great kajals but the rest of it you can just just forget about it because it's just you'll get better stuff out there all right so i got some more stuff from the nika shopping hall that i wanted to show you guys some restocks and things that i think are great they're repeat purchases i've used this a bunch of times and i've bought this again because i cannot do without it so the first one is the minimalist squalane 100% face oil i love squalane i usually use the ordinary but i got the minimalist one also it's slightly cheaper than the ordinary all right and then i got the vela thermal image i mean heat protection uh, spray i finished a whole bottle and this is my second or third one i love this it's great before you put heating tools on your hair make sure you put this on and then style your hair and then i got the bombay foldable face razor okay um i'm using one already it's a foldable razor it's actually nice it's very sharp a lot of face razors go blunt after the first use and then i have to throw them out which is really a bummer this has lasted me 2 to 3 times which is great it's foldable like that so you can travel with it as well it's a very big blade again to shave your face i think these are great to have on handy and then i picked up two laneige lip glowy balm this is the one here this is in peach and this is so good like i love 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 of course there is my dewy lip treatment from india wild that i love but this i purchased cuz i have ton of dlts this is also a fantastic lip balm you guys it is so glowy and juicy on the lip that i need i needed more than one cuz i finished one entire tube so this is great and then all these are repurchases by the way none of them is new in terms of skincare this is the belief the true cream moisturizing balm just missed this cream i remember using this a lot back in the day and then i really wanted a good moisturizer so i was like what else should i get apart from the worst moisturizer and i got this and this never like belief is like one of my favorite skincare brands it smells so nostalgic but i used to use this a lot and i repurchased this cuz it's the most beautiful thick moisturizer it's stunning i think all skin types can use this so and last but not the least i got the kiehl's ultra facial cleanser this is my second tube i cannot recommend this cleanser more like it is expensive but it is it cleanses the face it gets your light to medium light makeup off i wouldn't say like your heavy as smoky eyes waterproof makeup it's a bit much this does a great job of breaking down like makeup like this in minutes and it is such a good cleanser i am squeezing my cleanser that is in my bathroom right now because i want to use every drop of it it's that good if you're someone who uses makeup on the daily and is always worried about the removal process i think this is great i've never gotten around to makeup towels i think i should try because honestly these are so expensive and every time since i use makeup every day they i run out so soon that i think i need something affordable and sustainable <laughs> oh yeah i also have this very weird product this is the ludicrous matte lip crayon by milani i got a blue lipstick just because i was feeling feisty and i'm like i'm going to do a blue lipstick insta reel for you guys but <laughs> blue lipstick what does that feel like 
we don't know stay tuned to my instagram all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed i love trying new makeup products i'm so glad i did and it was so fun to do this let me know down below what part you enjoyed the most and if you like me to continue doing such shopping hauls and try-ons for you guys i love you again and i will see you in my next video bye bye